Guess where we got to go to? Nomad Fest! While we've been staging for boondocking at Nomad Fest, we stayed at this really cool campground we wanted to show you guys. It's called the Old Town Cotton Gin. <laughs> I RV always Park. mess it up. Um, it is just um, northwest of Wichita Falls. Yep. It's a small family owned business. It has full hookups. It meets our guidelines, so it's below 40 bucks a night. But they also have discounts too, so make sure you ask for that. Um, we had military discount, but they have Good Sam and a few others. Um, it's a very well taken care of RV park. It is, and a, an added bonus is they have a small dog park for Gizmo to go and yeah. run and do his business off leash. And you know he loves that. Yeah. Um, also while we were here, we met up with some people who are also staging before Nomad Fest. So we had a little, a little, I don't know, a gathering pre Nomad Fest. So we were already starting to meet some of, some of the people who are gonna be there. So we're already having a great time. Yeah, this is a blast. And it's nice to meet fellow um, nomaders, uh, if that's a word, yeah. um, like-minded. And yeah. we're all excited about the, uh, the, the rest of the week to come. Yep, so it's gonna be a great time. So if you're in this area and you need a, a layover or you wanna stay for a few days, this place is a great place to stay. Um, we didn't mention they do have laundry and they have um, bathroom facilities, which are very clean yep. and well taken care of. Yep, two thumbs up for sure. To prepare to go boondocking, um, I'm gonna start making our meals. So since I've had several people ask me how I cook in the RV, which really is the same way you cook at home, I thought I would throw in um, some of me cooking some of the things that we'll be taking with us to um, Nomad Fest. So to start off, I'm gonna do our breakfasts, which I've done before. Um, I food prep before many times before moving into the RV um, because that way it kept us from cheating at lunch. Um, so we would have our meals all cooked and ready to go on Sunday for all of our lunches through the week and sometimes dinners as well. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do here. Um, that way it's going to save water, electricity, it's going to save all of our resources. So hopefully we can survive boondocking for five days. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to start out like I said with breakfast. And I'm going to make what we call um, egg muffins. So it's going to be eggs, sausage, maybe some red peppers, um, a little cheese. And I'm going to actually make them um, in the convection oven, which I'm starting to use more and more, thankfully. If you decide to make the egg muffins for yourself, you can put anything in them that you would really put in an, an omelet. So I've added anything from mushrooms, tomatoes, salsa, cheese. So anything you can imagine, you can throw in here. I try to keep them a little healthy since we eat so much crap outside of breakfast. So this is the one meal I try to keep us on the straight and narrow. All right, so the sausage is finished cooking in the pan and I'm gonna drain some of the grease off and I don't want all the grease going down into our pipes and um, you know, sticking to the pipes and clogging them up late, you know, over time. So I'm actually gonna drain some of the grease out and there's very little, so I'm just gonna catch it in this plate. All right, so I've left a little bit of the grease in the plate from the sausage and I'm gonna use it to soften the, uh, the um, red bell peppers. All right, everything is all ready for me to throw into our molds here to make the muffins. So I need to make 10 in order for it to give each of us um, breakfast for five days. So I'm gonna divide this out um, into 10 muffins. Now, I did make two pounds of sausage. You guys might have noticed that. Um, and I do that a lot, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna freeze what's left so the next time I want breakfast sausage, it's already cooked and I just have to pull it out and thaw it and throw it in whatever I'm cooking. And a little spinach. And now I'm gonna put two eggs in each one. Right, the eggs are all in. Next is cheese and then I'm gonna um, break the yolks and give them a little stir. All right, I have my first um, silicone 
um, tray in there now. I'm going to go ahead and put my second one in. We're going to cook them at the same time. I don't want to spill. All right, let's see if I can get it in here without making a mess. The egg muffins are finally done. Note to self, make sure you preheat your convection oven before cooking in it because of course it takes forever for it to warm up and it throws off your cooking time. Also, if you're trying to record something, the convection oven is very loud. So this kind of threw off my timeline because normally I do a couple things at once. So this is going to be part one of the next meal, which is going to be white chicken chili. Um, it's something that I've been making for a really long time. Um, and it's usually a hit. So today I'm doing it in the Instant Pot, which I have not done before. So we'll see how it goes with that. So in goes um, a cup of chicken broth. Some chicken breast. All right, next I'm going to throw in some cumin and some um, lemon pepper. All right, and that is it for this part. We're going to close our valve, put it on manual for 20 minutes. And while that's going, we are actually going to start our next meal. So this meal, um, I guess it was white chicken chili. And now I'm going to start um, some taco meat. So we can either do um, tacos, which is what Phil will do, or taco salad, which is what I will do with um, some romaine, zucchini, tomatoes, avocado, stuff like that. Now one thing about um, food prepping in the RV as opposed to when I did it in my house. Um, in the house I had many utensils. And I had a ton of counter space so um, obviously I could multitask a little more I didn't have to stop and wash every little pan before I started the next project and you know counter space was abundant here it's a little different so here you have to negotiate a little more wash your dishes a little more often um, as you proceed all right so I'm gonna start just by um, cooking the um, ground meat you can use either turkey or beef um, you know it's just it's just taco meat so the ground meat is finished cooking I'm just gonna drain it and then we'll throw in the spices and then this part of it will be just about done all right so I'm gonna let the spices simmer for a little bit for the turkey meat and I'm gonna take the um, eggs out of the silicone so I can get them ready to go in the refrigerator All right, they're still a little steamy, so um, I'm gonna let them continue to cool. Uh, but these can be washed now because I will be using them for our next meal. All right, so for the taco meat, I'm just gonna let the, um, the water I put in simmer out, um, and then I'll put this in a bowl to cool. The meat is all finished for the tacos. Um, I have that here, and later I'll add a can of black beans to that so it goes even further. Um, there is two pounds of meat here, so I will take half of that and freeze it before I add the beans. Um, also, the chicken is finished in the Instant Pot, so we're going to start phase two on that. And then the eggs are here. Those are almost cool, so I'll put those in the fridge in the second. So in the meantime, I have cut up some onion, and I'm going to put that in the saucepan with some olive oil and some garlic. We are fans of garlic, so a lot of garlic. So the onions are finished, they're translucent, they're ready to go. The chicken in the Instant Pot is all finished. So now I'm gonna take the chicken out um, and I'm gonna chop it up um, into bite-sized pieces. All right, chicken's done. We're gonna put it back into the Instant Pot. And the onions and garlic go next. And of course now the hard part, opening up the can. So what I love about making this um, white chicken chili, it's so simple. It's really hearty, and uh, there's only one person I know who doesn't like it, and of course, that's my daughter. So what I'm dumping into the Instant Pot is um, two cans of great northern beans not drained, two cans of cho chopped green chilies not drained, and then two cans of white shoe pig corn, and these will actually, I will dr I'll strain those. All right, lid goes back on, and I'm going to do it for another 10 minutes.
All right, that's going. The final meal I'm making is going to be meatloafs, and they're going to be the individual meatloafs I'm going to use this pan for as well. Um, this is another recipe we've been making forever that um, is a big hit. Um, yes, Bree, I think, actually likes this one. Anyway, so I'm going to mix this up. You can use any meatloaf recipe that you like um, to make in here. And this will, again, all of these things I am making will be fine in the fridge um, for the next five days. All right, the meatloafs are all assembled. Um, I'm gonna preheat the convection oven this time so it doesn't take me twice as long um, at, to 350 and then I'm gonna cook it for about 25 minutes. Of course, I'll test it as I go through because like I said, I'm still working on the timing of the convection oven. And then this is the last meal that I'm preparing. So the um, white chicken chili already beeped. It's doing a slow release of the steam. So that's finished. So when that, um, I'll probably give it about another 10 minutes and I'll let the rest of the steam out and let it cool so I can transfer that to another container for the fridge as well. Um, the meat here is cooled, so I'm gonna take half of it out, add the black beans and freeze half of it for later on. So that gives us a lot of food while we're there. So Phil should not be hungry and he should not be resorting to ham sandwiches while we're there, although we do have that as a backup. So this gives us meatloaf, it gives us um, white chicken chili, tacos, and he can do taco salad or um, on regular tortillas. Um, breakfasts are all taken care of with the, um, the egg muffins. I also have leftover red chili that we might eat some of tonight and cornbread um, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Um, so we have plenty of food even if company drops in. So let me get this in the oven, get more dishes cleaned up, um, and then we'll be all set. So remember earlier when I was talking about you don't want to dump the fat down your sink. It can coat the pipes just like in a house. So you don't want to do that. Um, but it's usually too hot. You can't throw it in your trash can. And you're not supposed to dump it outside just, you know, wherever it attracts critters and bugs. And you don't want to do that. So what I learned to do is I, um, when it gets cool enough, I throw it into a container, throw it into the freezer. And now I can just dump this whole thing, scrape it into the trash, and out it goes. Laundry is another item I want to make sure we're caught up on because I'm not gonna be able to do any laundry while we're boondocking and this includes the towels the sheets all that stuff so when we get there tomorrow we are all set and everything is clean for us so I got to finish that up today too prepping to boondock does just doesn't involve preps on the inside it also preps on the outside so I'm gonna empty both our black and gray tanks and then uh, I'm going to fill our freshwater tank up full for the first time since we've owned the RV because um, we're going to be completely without hookups. So for those of you that don't know what Nomad Fest is, Stacy's gonna tell you. <laughs> no, nope, that's it. <laughs> All right, Nomad Fest was the premiere, premiere. of the RV documentary, um, of course, all about RVers. Yeah. All types of RVers, from families to couples and even some solitary people. So single folks doing it all by themselves. So it was a little bit of everyone. Yeah. So this movie is pretty amazing and we were lucky enough to see it at the premiere. Absolutely. Uh, we were the, the Nomad Fest premiere was held in Wellington, Texas. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with that little neck of the woods, it's um, up north uh, by Amarillo, probably 100 miles east of Amarillo, I'd, I'd say. Well, we're in between sessions at the Ritz here in Wellington. Um, quite a few good, interesting panel discussions this morning. Very informative and one, funny. One of my favorites, of course, is um, always on Liberty. Yeah. Which. Of course, we love them simply because they are veterans. Um, they were both in the Coast Guard. So they speak um, sailor. Yes, so they, they kind of get us, which is really good. So, but they have the best sense of humor. Yeah. So if you want a good laugh and you want to talk about our being at the same time, then go to their um, website. They don't have a YouTube channel, but they have a hilarious um, blog. She puts out a lot of great info. Yeah. It, it's hilarious. Very so. funny. Again, it's always on liberty.com is what I think yep. it is. I'll put the link below for you too. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a breath of fresh air to hear somebody talk Navy, although they're <laughs> puddle jumpers. We give them a break. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. over, overall, we, we've had a, a great experience here at Nomad Fest in Wellington. Um, we've met some uh, amazing people. Yeah. We are having a great time here at the premiere of the Nomad movie, and we have met some wonderful people. You got to meet them all. Woo! All right, let's see who they are. 
All right, Chris and Donna. Shut up there, Chris. Okay. All right, let's try again. Angie and Al. Hi, we're Scott and Christina Field, and you can catch us on our epic field trip. Yes, nice. And and we're Chris and Donna Clark, and we're not up and running yet because we're only on day seven, but we're having a blast. Yes, we but we are. are the runaway with the Clarks, right? Yes. Runaway, runaway with the Clarks. Clark. <laughs> and you should know they are all newbies. We are actually the veterans of this group. Day seven. Um, so it Too has much. been amazing to meet everyone yeah. here. And that's pretty scary to think that we're veterans yeah. of any country. <laughs> I can tell you that. Because we don't them. know what we're doing <laughs> yeah. yet. And we're beyond mm -hmm. the verbs. I didn't tell that. No, but. beyond oh, the verbs. Beyond so the verbs. make sure Alan you check Angie. them all out. So the people of Wellington were pretty darn amazing. They so were. we volunteered um, to have our own street corner. Yep, I have my own street corner. Phil had his own street How lucky corner. Was that? <laughs> so we were just helping guiding the RVers in um, to help with traffic control. And when we were standing out there in the freezing cold and, and the, in the rain, rain. Um, somebody actually stopped and offered Phil a cup of hot chocolate and said thank you for coming to our town. So that was pretty awesome. That was, and but the the hot chocolate not only warmed me up, but her saying that actually warmed yeah. me up as well because it was a small town. They opened up their arms to about I don't know 500 plus RVers coming yep. into their yep. town. Um, so they're pretty grateful that we were there, even though the conditions weren't that great. Right, right, and it was more than just um, the premiere. Um, of the movie which that did occur but it was also we had um, it was four days and two of those days were open sessions or talks whatever you right. want to call it um, and we got to listen to different things such as um, RVing to Alaska a bunch of RV humor because you know you have to laugh on your RVing something's always coming up and then of course there were some YouTube sessions about YouTubing and making and creating videos working so, on the road some yeah, things like that it was, yeah. it was very informative so it was a really great great event um, and while we were there, we were lucky enough to run into some people that you guys might know. Um, first was RV Love. <sighs> Our fave. I mean, we all, we love them all, but RV Love is the one that showed us that we could do this lifestyle, work and travel and, and yeah. have adventures yeah. on the road. They were the first ones that showed us that we could yeah. do it. Yeah. Mark showed us that we could have a full-time job and work on the road and keep doing what we're doing. So Phil literally stalked them as they were getting out of their car. In um, the rain, standing in the mud. I was waiting for Julie to get out and she sat in there for another 10 minutes. <laughs> I think she knew I was there, but I wasn't giving in. So it's a good thing we weren't arrested, but we did get to meet them and they were very generous with their time. They were super, super nice people. Um, we also met Less Junk More Journey and got to see those famous pink wellies. Yep. Um, yep. And then we met Driving and Vibing as Driving well. We caught them on the way out. So they were, I think they were trying to evade people before it got too crazy, <laughs> but we did catch them. We caught them. And then, of course, we met Always on Liberty. Now, they don't have a YouTube channel, um, but there are a couple of Coasties who have a blog and they are a riot. They, they are, are hilarious. So funny. So you got to check out their stuff. And of course, I'm going to have links to everybody down below. And then the other group that we spent more time with is Chicory, Tra Chicor I'm sorry, let me try again. Chicory's Travels. Um, they also have a blog. Um, they have a YouTube channel and they have some books on RVing. Their best one, I think, is their financial book. Yeah. They lay out every penny. They, they show you exactly how they're spending their money and, you know, how that works. So if you want a good book on finances on the road and what it really costs yeah. to RV, I'll put a link for that down as well. Now, Chicory Travels. They are prior military as well. They're not Navy, but we'll forgive them for that. So, um, of course, we love them too. Yeah. Um, and then we ran into another. Well, you got to tell them who they are. They're Air Force. Oh, yeah, they're Air Force. So we forgive that in them. Oh, yeah. No, they're Air Force veterans. We know it's pretty awesome. We love our veteran peeps. I'm just kidding. So they're awesome. We love them. All right. Truly awesome. So the other couple that we met that were so amazing and generous with their time is Stacy and Thomas from I'm Not Lost I'm RV. They great spent, name, yeah, great name. Yeah, I and, love their channel name. And they, they took time out of their busy day to sit with us and go over some of our YouTube questions Yeah. Um, and showed us some tricks of the trade um, that are helpful for them. Um, and they seem to be helping us out as yeah, well. Yeah, and they worked with us for a couple of hours. They were super nice and very generous. So thank you again to I'm at Lost from RVing. And, of course, their link we're throwing in the bottom too. Yep. And who else did we meet? Most importantly. Oh, yeah, our subscribers. Yes. A few of our subscribers were there. So that was pretty cool. That was a lot of fun. It, when they first walked up and said, hey, we know who you are. We watch your videos. It was like, 
I was like looking behind me because I like, thought what? maybe somebody was behind us. You mean it's just not the computer that, that you know numbers are going up out of random that people actually watched our stuff? That was kind of cool. That was very cool. Yeah. So we had a great time with that. Yeah. Nomad Fest finished up yesterday um, and we had so much fun. We had a blast. Let me tell you how much fun we had here. If you are currently RVing and you haven't been to a rally or a festival, I'm telling you, you have to go. It will change the way you see RVing and, and just, I mean, it changes everything. It really brings you community while you're out here. Yeah, this was our very first one. So there were a ton of firsts for us on this trip, but I'm telling you right now, it was well worth the trip. Yeah. It was well worth buying the tickets last August to come here. Yep. Um, it, it did not disappoint. They're talking already talking about Nomad Fest for next year, so have your ears open and peeled for that. And also there's an app, so if you want to see the movie we've been talking about, you have to go to the app to see it, and it's called... Epic Nomad Life, I believe. Yep, and you can, of course, download that where you download all the other apps. And let's talk about our first time boondocking. Yeah, well, remember, this is a first for us. We've never done, we've never been anywhere where we didn't have some kind of hookup. Right, and we made it. We did. We, we survived. Did. Um, you know, we did all the things we were supposed to do. We um, cooked ahead of time. We made sure all our tanks were full. Everything was charged. You know, we prepped as much as we could for boondocking and we still have water left over. Yeah, we've been completely um, unconnected, unconnected, disconnected <laughs> from water, electric, and sewer for five days now. Yep. And we still have water in the tank. We still have room in our gray and black tanks. Yep. We still have propane and we're still smiling. So that's right. a good thing. Right, so it's a good thing. It's yep. a good thing. I know five days doesn't sound like a long time to, for some, but for us, this was like a big, big hurdle. So yeah. let's just say, we did it. Let's just say being in the Navy for so long and, and learning how to take a Navy shower came in handy here. <laughs> yeah, we definitely needed to know how to do that. Yeah. Um, but um, that's it for our boondocking info and our info on Nomad Fest. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell. More importantly, we found yes, yes. hit the bell. Yes, make sure you hit the bell. That way you know when we drop a video and when we start going live because that is on the schedule. We will be going live soon. So make sure you hit that bell so you know when some stuff's going on on our channel. Yep. So I guess, you know, keep watching. Keep telling us we're doing good things and we'll keep bringing it to you. Our bad things, whatever we happen yeah. to be doing. Yeah, yeah probably whatever. bad on my part, but we're going to bring them to you anyway now. All right. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on, on the, the road. road.